friends, let's uh, share in this meal of remembrance together. So grab your uh, piece of bread and a drink of juice uh, so that we can share in this meal together. At the heart of the Christian life is active trust in the, in the Lord Jesus Christ and his sin, sacrificial death for sin. In this symbolic meal originating from Jesus' last supper with his disciples, we express and strengthen our trust in him as we eat and drink with our brothers and sisters in Christ. The Lord's Supper is an outward and visible sign of the grace shown to us in the death of our Saviour. As we share bread and wine together, we're invited to feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving. We're faced again with God's love for the unworthy and are strengthened by faith in the one whose body was given and whose blood was shed for us. Come then with heartfelt repentance and genuine trust in the Lord Jesus, recognising the significance of sharing in this way. Knowing the goodness of God and the times we fail to respond with love and obedience, let us confess our sins together. Heavenly Father, you have loved us with an everlasting love, but we have often gone our own way and rejected your will for our lives. We are sorry for our sins and turn away from them. For the sake of your Son who died for us, forgive us, cleanse us and change us. By your Holy Spirit, enable us to live for you and to please you in every way. For the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The good news, friend, is that, friends, is that God is slow to anger and full of compassion. He forgives all who humbly repent and turn to his son, Jesus Christ, in whom there is no condemnation. Amen. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He is worthy of all praise. We praise and thank you, Heavenly Father, for every spiritual blessing in Jesus our Lord, in whom we have the forgiveness of sins, the gift of your spirit and the hope of sharing in your glory. We who are once far away have been brought near by the blood of your Son. He loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Therefore, we lift our voices to praise you, saying, Glory be to God in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. On the night before he died, Jesus took bread, and when he'd given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after the, sup after the meal, he took the cup, and again, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Father, we thank you for these gifts of your creation and pray that we who eat and drink them in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, believing our Saviour's word, may be partakers of his body and blood. Amen. As we eat this bread and drink the cup, we proclaim the Lord's death. We do this until he returns. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Come, let us eat and drink in remembrance that Christ died for us and feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Friends, uh, grab your piece of bread. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. And with your cup, drink this in remembrance that Christ Bob was shed for you and be thankful. Let me pray. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us in this hope that we have grasped so we and all your children shall be free and the whole earth live to praise your name. To him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy, to the only God our Saviour, be glory, majesty, power and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord, before all ages, 
now and forevermore. Amen. Friends, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Go well, friends. Have a great day.